The characters ultimately, yes, they're superheroes, but I think behind that, each individual person is very relatable in their own specific, unique way. They have flaws, you know, they have problems that all of us as humans have. Depending on which one you relate to most, there's things that people draw from, but I think ultimately it's the immersion factor of being on the journey with these characters and the fun factor. It ticks so many boxes because it draws with the music and everything, it draws on nostalgia and on people's emotions. And Steve Blackman is, is a kind of a genius in that way. He gives us as actors, you know, huge amounts of freedom to, to play with that. Very sort of super themes couch in very normal context. Because if this wasn't like a show about like people, if it was just superheroes and it wasn't about like the relationships and yeah, the trauma yeah. and learning to accept and that, family. you wouldn't have yeah. people getting so attached to these characters in the show. Yeah. yeah. The heightened reality is just like, it's all bravado and it's very fun to see and exciting, but this show's about people. Hi MTV News, we are the cast of the Umbrella Academy and this is our top five favorite moments from season three. My favorite moment of season three is uh, Lou's <laughs> musical number Lou's after he spent the night with Sloane. I really enjoyed that. In fact, all of Luther's bits are really, really great this season. Oh, that's Aww. sweet. There was a, a moment in season three very dear to my heart where uh, Diego and Stanley have rolled Klaus up in a rug and we're, oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're, we're there in a, a corridor and uh, it's very, very sort of dark mood. Sort of like, look, we're just going to explain to the rest of them what happened. It was an accident, okay? And they can't quite believe it. And there's this sort of long, protracted silence of sadness. And then Klaus comes back to life in a very unexpected fashion. And everyone starts screaming and roaring and clattering around mm -hmm. the elevator. That was very, very, very fun to watch back and very fun to shoot on the day. It's funny you say that, Rob, because that was the one that I was going to say, was shooting it because I remember just <laughs> carrying you and it was so hot and you were so hot in it and I could, and I felt for you and every single take right before it started, I had to somehow remove the hairs from the carpet, oh, yeah. remember, out of your face, yeah, yeah. but also still make sure that you still saw you because it made no sense to have you in a carpet without seeing your face <laughs> yeah, yeah. in it. It was like, it was the most sheddy carpet of all time. It was a very, very shag carpet. My, one of my favorite moments was in episode eight, we had a scene right before the bachelor party where uh, Lila's trying to get me to go to the bachelor party and I don't want to go. And and I remember how fun on the day it was and how it kind of played out because when I saw the scene, actually, it's one of those scenes where like, I, you know, obviously you guys I'm sure can relate to this where you can shoot something and then when you see it, it doesn't match, mm. at least how it felt. Yeah. To me, that was the first time, one of the first times where the way it felt is the way it kind of came across. Yeah. yeah. And even at the end, how we were out, we were kind of able to flip this kind of very, not cheesy, but almost like very lovey-dovey scene about I love you and all these things, but it was kind of handled with some humor underneath and levity that at the end, Diego had his pants off. You know, <laughs> well, saying that. Your favorite scene. It's always a yeah. good scene. Yeah. Great yeah. moment. Yeah, that was a good scene. <laughs> My favorite moment would be episode eight, the wedding episode as a whole, because we were all together in it. We got to play drunk a lot. There was lots of like two-handers within it. It felt like a wedding party. Yeah, that we were there for like several weeks whole, or something. Uh, like a whole time. week, yeah. like a week of night shoots. It was yeah. like the most relaxed, lovely shooting environment ever because everyone was just bonding. It was meant to be a, like yeah. a wedding thing. So yeah. I remember the story. I think I think someone told you, Rob, where I think you told me where there was a myth or a, or a certain fable of a woman there that was haunting the hallways because That's of right. a man who, a man who was getting married like a hundred years ago in that same place <laughs> ended up <laughs> killing his mistress who came the day of the wedding and the mistress would roam around at night and it was like yeah. for like three days and felt like, oh my God, this place is haunted by this mistress. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I remember that just being a really spooky yeah, like, place. place. Lots of and I think it's because of this myth that was going around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then someone said, it was a lie. Yeah. You know? and it was like, but we were already scared by that. The time. smell of death everywhere you, yeah. everywhere you looked. The smell of death in that place. <laughs> favorite moment from season three that isn't the ballroom stuff as previously mentioned is I think pretty much like all of the stuff that we did going on the Amish thing because yeah that was great you've got to shift into a different a gear in terms of like the show's very poised and up all the time it was lovely to just like 
get a chance to kick back and yeah. sort of have a different vibe for the show. Yeah. And as well, I and remember of course it gets turned on we head. got to go on a field trip out to yeah. this beautiful, idyllic, picturesque farm. And previously we'd been in studio with like slightly smothered with COVID restrictions. And so for me- It was me, quite was, freeing. Yeah, it was, yeah. And it was the sun was starting to be summertime and there was Amish people around. Yes. You know, gardening. I love that livestock. shot of you just running over the thing. It's perfect. 